How's it going? I managed to decode all of that journal I dug up. So you know where the treasure is? Uh, not exactly, no. The journal doesn't give its precise location. After all, El Toro didn't want just anybody to find it. But I'm working on it. Anything else? Turns out our Jamaican beach bum is really an Australian accountant, hiding out from a vengeful ex-client. So the fisherman thing is all an act? Looks that way. So we're right back where we started from. Darn this phone! I'm gonna get it to work if it's the last thing I do. That's what those monkeys were asking for. A ball! that? Looks like somebody's moving through those bushes way across the island. That must be Half Moon Reef.
Hello, Dove Isle. How's it going? When I climbed to the top of the bat caves, I saw something, or someone, moving through the bushes on the other side of the island. You think it was the kidnappers? It could have been. All I really saw were the bushes moving. It was either several people or something really big. I told you we weren't alone. I keep finding dials all over the place. Do you think they're important? I hope so. Because despite their cumbersomeness, you feel strangely compelled to collect them. You know, Nance, if this detective stuff doesn't pan out, there may just be a career for you in trash collection. <laughs> Very funny, George. I'm pretty much convinced the Gibsons are the ones who kidnap Bess in order to get me to find that treasure for them. But why you? I mean, you don't even know them, do you? Maybe I do. Maybe Gibson isn't their real name. Frankly, at this point, I don't really care who kidnapped her. Getting her back in one piece, that's all that matters. I'd better get back to work. You know where to find me. What's that? A Tosha. A Tosha. I'll bet that's the galleon El Toro mentioned. The one that sank. George, can you hear me? It's Nancy. Over. Where are you? Over. On a little island that's right across from the resort. Listen, I need to find out the date that a Spanish ship called the Atosha sank. I'm pretty sure there's a placard in the shed that has the date on it. So I need for you to go to the shed, look at the placard, then call me back with the date, okay? Over. I can do that. Whoa, what was that? What was what? Over. Are you outside? No, why? Over. Then I think you may have a prowler. Maybe you should... Go take a look. I'm on it. Over and out. Oh man, the monkeys must have broken into the shed. In celebration of the date the Atosha sank, which is inscribed on its front, this commemorative silver coin... Oh no, the coin's gone! Those monkeys are not only vandals, they're also thieves! That's just peachy. I think 
think I'd like a trick. Treat first, treat first. Cuckoo want treat first. Ah, no treat, no trick. A deal's a deal. I would like to play a game with you. September 1622. Bingo. George calling Nancy. Come in, Nancy. Over. Hey, George. Did you find out the date? Over. Yep. Mission accomplished. Fantastic. So tell me. According to the coin on that placard, the Atosha sank on the 6th of September 1622. George, you are awesome. I'll let you know if I need anything else. Over and out.
帮帮我。Oh. <sighs>